Hi, I'm Katherine Marsh, author of Jep, Who Defied the Stars. In my book, Jep, the teenage hero meets a guy named Tycho Brahe who changes his life. Tycho is actually a real person. He was a 16th century astronomer. Oh, is this about a scientist? But wait, wait, there's actually a whole bunch of interesting things about Tycho, including that he had no nose. Which brings us to today's segment, The Guy with No Nose. Tico lost his nose in a drunken duel when he was a student, so beer sores don't mix so well. And after that, he used prosthetic noses. He had a copper nose. They even say he had a gold nose he used for special occasions that had a little extra bling. He attached these noses to his face using paste, but sometimes they'd fall off. And it becomes the job of my hero, Jeff, to pick up Tico's nose. So if you think you have a bad job at McDonald's or something, at least you don't have to pick up someone's nose. They say to write what you know, so I decided to write about Tico and his nose because I have a... Actually, I have a nose. That's terrible advice. Don't just write what you know. Write about the things that fascinate you. Write about the things you imagine. Tico had an amazing imagination. He lived on an island in Denmark where he built his own castle, and it even had running water, which no one else did at the time. He also kept a collection of automata, or mechanized statues that would move around and that he used to frighten guests. He even had a beer-drinking moose that he kept as a pet. And the beer-drinking moose, as you might imagine, met a sad end, but I won't tell you what it is because it's in my book. Tico was a naked eye astronomer. Sounds kind of sexy. All it means is that Tico worked before the age of the telescope, making his observations using only his naked eye. But doing that, he was able to amass one of the most accurate collections of data about the stars. And after his death, another astronomer named Johannes Kepler used that data to formulate his laws of planetary motion, which describes how the planets orbit and are the underpinning of our modern conception of the solar system. So Tycho is basically the guy who did all the hard work. If you want to learn more about Tycho, his moose, his lack of a nose, and even a little about his science, read my book, Jep, Who Defied the Stars. Now I have to go get the putty off my pants.